Welcome back to Return of the Obra Dinn. Last episode, we saw the death of three people. This one out here, who was part of a group trying to break down the captain's door. They were shot by the captain. This person had their throat cut by the captain, and this person had their head caved in, basically, by this spear. Used as a club, not as an actual spear. So at the very end of the last episode, we just got this door here open, and there's two bodies in here. So time to check them out. Oh, also, I discovered something new. Apparently, if you have the pocket watch open, and you press the book, uh, press the button to open the book, it opens it to the relevant page automatically. So you don't have to search through your book to figure out which person is which or anything like that. Just skip straight to it. All right, who are you? Abigail. Your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. Oof. I think that is the captain. Oh, whoa. Zooming in can do special things. Whoa, that is really cool. Open the book while examining a, f a face to flip directly to the sketch. Glad I just discovered this. But that still doesn't make it so I can identify them. Right, like I still need to know their name. Yep, that was the captain's quarters, apparently. Captain Robert Witterell met an unknown fate. Well, I think we know what their fate is. Suicide by gun. This may or may not be correct. Okay, like I thought. It doesn't tell you whether it is. Oh, fates are validated in sets of three. Okay. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Okay. So what is this? Oh, just a guide on how to do things. The four memories that they appear in. So let's do the face thing again. It does look like them, although it's hard to tell. So, the dialogue. Um, what's the easiest way to get to the dialogue? I guess I have to, probably it's easiest if I leave the memory before I look at the dialogue, so let's just keep looking. Oh, oh. Is that Abigail? They look very dead. Where are they on the picture? There they are. 
Um, can I look at the full book? Even when I'm in a memory? Yes, I can. I want to look at the roster. Is Abigail listed on here? Yeah, there they are. Number 19. Abigail Hos... Uh, it's hard to make out. Hosku? Hosku? Witterell. They were a passenger. All right, I want to look over that dialogue again. Let's leave. What are the four X's? Was that how many people we've discovered from the end? Four bodies? Three. Four. Yeah. Oh, so I guess that's all the bodies as part of that chapter. So, let's look at that dialogue again. Abigail, your brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. I'll be with you. Soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. Your brother and my friend dead. So wait, is there... Is there somebody else with the Witterall name? There isn't, however, I think... Abigail's brother and Robert Witterall's best friend, or friend, I don't know about best friend. I believe it's this person, William Hoskoot, because Hoskoot is the same name that Abigail has. Not their last name, but their middle name? Abigail Hoskoot Witterell. I'm a little bit confused about how name names work <laughs> when it comes to people gaining names because they get married. Like, I'm pretty sure Abigail was married to Robert Witterell. So Robert Witterell, I'm sure, had Witterell as their last name probably for their whole life, most likely. And Abigail Hoskoot something probably had their last name changed to Witterell when they were married. Or maybe... Maybe they just have two last names now? Maybe their name was Abigail Hoskoot, I guess, probably? Given that the brother's name is William Hoskoot? So I guess Hoskoot was their last name, and then they took another last name or something? I don't know how that works. But yes, Abigail Hoskoot Witterell, I believe, is married, or was married to Robert Witterell, and William Hoskoot is their brother, and the first mate. And apparently Robert Witterell killed William Hoskoot. God, that sounded like absolute chaos. There's a severe storm happening, and I... Oh my god. Is that a kraken? Holy shit. I was gonna say, I thought I heard shooting. I assume they were shooting each other, but I... think they were probably trying to shoot this thing. Oh my god. So... A tentacle grabbed this... This pole, this mast, or whatever it is. And to hit Abigail, and that's how they died. They're calling out to Martin and saying, Where is my husband? Um, Martin. Martin would be... 
Martin Parrot? Perrot? Probably? Probably this person? I don't know, there's a lot of people here. God, this game is so cool. was moved post-mortem. Ten others were present, yep. Who is this? How did they die? Well, I know who they are, and I know how they died. This is number... Ni 19. Abigail Hoskoot Witterell. And they were... Mm, crushed? By rigging? Clubbed? No, not... Not clubbed. Struck? I mean, that fits. But not by any of those. Exploded, expired, electrocuted, eaten. I think crushed is it. And probably crushed by rigging? I mean, I know the beast caused it, but the beast didn't directly crush them. It was the rigging that did it? I, hmm. Getting into semantics here. Maybe I should say a beast? I don't know. Let me check something. Let me check the glossary. Does it define exactly what rigging is? Yes, it does. The network of ropes and chains... Supporting the masts and used for working the sails. Okay, so that's not it. They weren't hit by ropes and chains. They were hit they were hit by a mast. Was that an option? Whoa, what's What's going on with her hand? Why is it shaking so violently? Is it because we're terrified about what we're seeing? That would make sense. Whoa, space to take action? What action? The hell? Oh, I don't like this. What the hell is this? What is going on with our pocket watch? Why is this person important? They're they're highlighted. Even through things, we can see them. Oh, they're low. Half their body's missing. It's pointing in that direction. Yeah, they're all fuzzy. So gross and disturbing. You can see their guts just like spraying out as they're separated in half. They stabbed it through a tentacle with a sword. 
Oh, there's people just flying through the air from that upturned boat. So maybe they're trying to escape on that boat. They're trying to stab it. They have... What are those marks on them? I'm thinking those are either tattoos or they're like tentacle marks, but... I don't know what tentacle marks look like exactly. That's, they seem too perfect for that. I think they might be tattoos. Should certainly help identify them, I think. Yeah, judging by this picture, those are definitely tattoos. How did they die? Well, I can at least say that. They were... Crushed? I don't know if there's... Cut in half. Torn apart. Yep, okay, that's it, actually. Torn apart by a beast. Throw the powder. They're trying to use some sort of explosive? They've got a rope around them. Oh yeah, they threw that at a tentacle. There's a person! Right there at the end of the rope? Right where the explosion is? Who is this? How did they die? Well... They exploded. Exploded. Blasted by an explosion. Um, I'm gonna check something. For... Abigail. Crushed by a terrible beast. Yeah, I wanted to see if there was a better way to describe this. So... It's not rigging. It's not stones. It's by a mast. That's not an option. So maybe it is beast. The best one I can think of. Yeah, crushed by a beast. Okay. Oh, I heard a door, thank god. I feel like I'm stuck in a nightmare. 
Oh, that's cool how the door is is level with the horizon, even though the ship very much is not. Is the person still down there waiting for us? Yeah, they are. Okay, that's comforting to know that there's somebody else out here. Ah, there's where the goat was. There's one little broken bar. Where's that mast that fell over and killed Abigail, by the way? Like, if there's that much damage, then... Where is it? Did that happen a while ago and they managed to repair some stuff? After then? I mean, that's pretty far in on the chapters, right? The Doom? The Doom... Eh, well, actually, there's a little bit of time. There's a couple chapters between the Doom and the End. Bargain and Escape. Hmm. Okay. So I could go downstairs, of course, but... There must be more to do up here. What about... Um... Let's use the watch on one of these bodies and see if it takes me back to where Abigail is. I want to check something. Part 6 of 8. Was oh, is this like playing the whole thing through? Hmm, yeah, this is not the one that has Abigail. Okay. I think I just have to go back to Abigail. See, they said Martin. Where's my husband? They mentioned a name, so I should be able to identify Martin, right? Yeah, they are in focus, meaning we can identify them. They're the one closest to Abigail, so I assume they're the person Abigail was talking to? Martin, where's the captain? Have you lost your mind? Get back inside. I want my husband. Where is he? He's below deck. Come here. Yeah, this is probably Martin. I mean, who else could they have been talking to just before here? Like, I don't know this person? But, like, can I even identify them? No, they're blurry. Oh, wait. You're clear? Huh. Why am I supposed to be able to identify them? And this person, too? Curious. Right. Well, you... are Martin Perrot, third mate. I think I maybe know who these two people are. 
So they both look feminine. So they probably have feminine names. There's not too many on the manifest. And the pictures are dancing together? Uh, well, not quite together, next to each other. These two are dancing, Abigail and this person, and this person, and some other person. Um, but I was looking through the names, and I noticed two feminine-seeming names right next to each other. Miss Jane Bird and Emily Jackson. So Miss, according to a quick Google, means that they're unmarried. Emily Jackson doesn't say anything about whether they're married or not. But this person is unmarried, I believe. And I looked at him and realized that this one here has a ring. So I think the other one... The one in the back, I think, is Miss Jane Bird, and the one in the front is probably Emily Jackson? A bit of an assumption, but not a big stretch, really. Let's identify him, because the game thinks I can identify him, so... It's reasonable to make a conclusion now, I think. This is a deduction rating. A higher rating means that it will be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on the easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Is that more difficult than, like, what's the scale go from? Three, three, any others that I can identify? You, you're two. So I guess it's probably from one to three or something like that. Hmm. I mean, I feel like... I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Emily Jackson, number 21. And Miss Jane Bird, number 22. So it thinks I should be able to figure out who this person is. Screaming. There's no names mentioned. Um, like the tattoos? Do they are those tattoos from a specific culture? Maybe, but I don't know what that culture would be. Look at Abe Lincoln over here. Someone's tossing him a gun. Yeah, I mean, that's the one we just looked at. Yeah, looking at the list of crew members, nothing immediately jumped out at me. I did start looking just online at nautical tattoos. Apparently there's a lot of tattoos very specific to sailors. But I didn't see any that looked like these. These, like, concentric circles. I didn't find that. I also looked in the glossary, wanting to see if maybe it would mention in the different positions, like, maybe... You know, gunners tend to have tattoos that look like such and such or something. But there's no details like that. They're very, very simple definitions. But I'm supposed to be able to identify this person. Hmm. Can I tell by what they're wearing? Like, this person doesn't have a shirt on, right? And they didn't in that picture when they were with everybody else. I don't know. What kind of worker on board a ship 
tends to not have a shirt. I have no idea. I think I should perhaps just leave it alone and do some more exploring. Let's look on the gun deck. Looks like they were crushed by one of the cannons. Oof. Yeah, I can see the Kraken's tentacles out there. What does keep the cannons in place? I mean, on a... on a ship. Obviously it's going to be moving around a lot and rocking back and forth. And these have wheels. So like, how do they normally stay put? Obviously they, they do normally stay put. Otherwise it'd be complete chaos. Oh, there's... There's like straps strapping it down and also some blocks around the wheels. These don't have those for some reason. It was just so violent what the Kraken was doing to the ship that it all just broke and fell apart, probably. How did they die? They were crushed by a cannon. Hands shaking again. Doesn't look like a complete person. Oh, I can go over the cannon. from a cannon? It's hard to see what the hell is going on, but they got eviscerated, that's for sure. Oh, it's coming from here. Yeah, yeah, it's coming out of that cannon. Shooting directly at them. Just obliterated their head. They maybe were here loading this cannon. So things sticking out of it. They're probably packing the ball up there or black powder or however they work. They look like they're wearing very nice clothes. They have a top hat on. One of the higher class people? Or their higher rank or just a higher class passenger?
There's two people listed here? Well, the one in the... Who's the other one? The one in the shot died by being shot. Shot by a cannon. By... I mean, by no one. Is that an option? I'll just leave it where it is for now. Yeah, who's that person? So it shot. Let me this thing just push back here. Just smash back there. Oh, is that a is that a person? Is that a foot? Oh yeah, shit. Okay, that's the other one. barely see any of them. Hold on, I got a highlight for a second there from some angle. How do we get it back? Is there a better angle to get this from? Oh. That is this person, right? Actually, maybe not. Now I'm unsure. It's highlighting this person, but they don't look... They don't look right. They don't match... They don't match. They don't match this. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I'll just put this person in as the person they seem to actually be. So, that person. You don't have su sufficient information. Right, if they're not listed on the list of dead people, I can't say a cause of death. Okay, let's just ignore it for now. Oh, that's a person with those tattoos. the cannon and just smashed them all. That's you. Okay, so this one, this person, they didn't die right here. They died a little bit later getting smashed by the cannon, I think. I'm getting a little bit confused. But this is the person we saw previously. So they were crushed by a cannon. Yeah, so if we click on them, then we'll get this option if they're somewhere in our 
list of like dead people but like these other people i don't think they will show up because i haven't found their bodies yet How did you die? I still don't even know who you are. Oh, that's you? Ah. Oh. You were... crushed by a beast or a cannon? I guess a beast? I'm gonna say beast. Looking for any other identifiable information about them. I can already tell that I'm going to be replaying through these memories many, many times. That's a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go explore the back of the gun deck. <laughs>